There is a famous line in the theology that we use in reference to the scriptures. The kingdom of God is already but not yet. Already because Jesus the son of man the promised Messiah to the world has already come and lived in our midst 2000 years ago. But we know how the chosen race rejected Jesus, did not accept him as the promised Messiah and even went to the extent of executing him and putting him away for good. This was the kingdom of God that was already. Jesus established this kingdom. He wanted to bring, bring about a society where people would live based on the four kingdom values of love, justice, peace and equality. Jesus will come back again at the end of all time as promised. And that will be the final completion of the kingdom of God. Already, but not yet, because we await his second coming. We await the parousia. We await the coming of Jesus in all his splendor and glory. So what do we do while we are still waiting? We continue the work that Jesus himself began. When he established his kingdom based on the four kingdom values, this is what he handed over to his first apostles, to the disciples and generation after that. And the same has come down to us. Each of us, my dear brothers and sisters, has the responsibility of building up that society where we will live with one another with justice, peace, love and equality. Each of us as disciples of the Lord, if indeed we are genuine and faithful to the mission and to our calling, all of us will make that contribution towards building up this kingdom here on earth. There is so much that divides us. We ourselves bring about division sometimes amongst ourselves. And we need to set aside all these differences and work towards the completion of God's kingdom here on earth. I pray that this kingdom that is already but not yet and will be brought to fulfillment in Jesus' final coming here on earth will indeed be brought to light by the works that we do here on earth. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.